how many of us have applied a fungicide with a herbicide uh, at tilling stage in wheat? So quite a number of you have done this. So if I may ask you another question, what was the fungicide uh, treating? Was there any disease that you noticed that you should apply a fungicide or did you anticipate some, fung some fungi pathogens to develop or? Okay, so I'm seeing some nodding. But maybe you didn't notice any, fung any, any fungal diseases when you were applying. So what we're seeing, and this could be because of uh, chemical companies and, and other reasons, we're seeing increased fungicide application at tilling. That's, in my opinion, that's way too early uh, to have any uh, beneficial, any economic return on your fungicide application, except there are only two uh, conditions. If you're having no-till and you're also having wheat on wheat, then early uh, fungicide application may be beneficial. Right here, we have a uh, fungicide trial where we have early timing, we have flag leaf uh, timing, and we also have uh, flowering uh, timing. If you had a chance to walk through, uh, as far as disease is concerned, there's no difference between early treated and uh, untreated. Can you tell me why that's the case? Because around jointing, the conditions are not conducive for a lot of disease to develop, especially where you have uh, wheat maybe following soybean, or where wheat is not following wheat, you're not going to see a lot of disease developing at, at such an early stage. So that's why later infections that happened in the field uh, look like uh, untreated, even where we, we treated with uh, various types of, of fine side products. So I would encourage you that before you put that fine side with the herbicide, do some scouting and also consider if you're, up, if you're having wheat on wheat or in the non-tilled field, then the risk for disease development early, early on may be warranted, okay? So our recommendation is that cultivar selection with scouting can really save you a lot of uh, uh, fungicide application. So we are seeing up to three uh, different fungicide applications and that's not really healthy. First of all, uh, some preliminary data shows that a lot of fine side application can increase the level of other diseases like bacterial leaf streak. So that's why it's, it's important for us to scout and see if we have any disease to warrant a fine side application. The other reason is that most of the diseases on wheat are going to develop when the canopy has closed, in, so to speak, when you have a lot of tilling around flag leaf because the lower leaves have low circulation of air, there's a lot of moisture trapped there, and so you get more disease development, okay? So a flag leaf timing is going to be more effective and can uh, protect the yield, okay? Now, with scouting, even you can delay a little bit because once you have the head out, then you can protect the head from scab and then protect the flag leaf from foliar diseases, okay? So, my take home message for you is that you may want to consider what you have on your, on your wheat, whether it's wheat on wheat or on until field, then you may consider early uh, treatment with a fungicide. Less of that, you may want to scout al around flag leaf and if there's not enough disease developing, then you may wait a little further and apply only one fungicide application at flowering and take care of most of the diseases that we see on wheat. So what other diseases have we seen in the state so far? Most of the diseases we are seeing is mainly on winter wheat. We have seen uh, rusts and there are three rusts we have. We have seen stripe rust, we have seen leaf rust and stem rust. Now stem rust can be yield robust in a very short time. So we really encourage you, because we know that the inoculum is already in the area, we have a lot of rusts already developing on winter wheat, and may, it may be an issue on spring wheat as well. So we encourage you to keep scouting, and if there's any danger of rust developing, then you may want to apply a fungicide to protect the flag leaf. 
The other disease that is really important and we are seeing already is the scab. The fusarium head blight um, causes yield loss in two ways. The first one is the scabby head, uh, uh, the scabby seed, uh, which can be lost during combine harvesting. So you have reduced yield because of lost grain, but then you also have a problem of uh, low quality. Uh, the shriveled seed has high content of mycotoxins, okay, and mycotoxins are not safe for humans and they are not safe for animals either. So depending on the level of, the, of, of mycotoxins in your grain, you may get a reduced uh, price per bushel. And the only way to control uh, scab is timing a fine side at flowering. And that's what I mentioned about scouting and timing. It, that's all it takes to have economic returns on your fine side application. Okay. The other disease that's out there, again on winter wheat, I haven't seen a lot of it on spring wheat, uh, the virus diseases, the only two that I've seen to be more, um, more common, the wheat streak mosaic virus, which is transmitted by mites, and then the barley, the barley yellow dwarf virus. So these are viruses, they are going to cause leaves to yellow, and wheat streak is going to cause plants also to be stunted. Now, if you see these diseases, especially the yellowing, Applying a fine side is not going to be helpful. Okay, so again, scouting and trying to determine uh, what you have on your field, plus the timing of the fine side, is going to help you to um, make informed decision when it comes to a fine side application, as well as um, saving your revenue that would have gone into a fine side application that may not be necessary. Okay, so. At this time, I'm going to open it for questions of any disease concerns that you have, but that's, those are the points that I wanted to highlight. So, any questions? <laughs> any other diseases that you are seeing out there that I didn't talk about that we should discuss? Okay, it looks like... Uh, so, yes, I mentioned a little bit about bacterial leaf streak. This is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of this disease we're seeing in winter wheat, not much on spring wheat. It's a bacterial disease, and so fine side application is not going to help with the bacterial leaf, leaf streak. It's a residue bond disease, so wheat on wheat is going to be more affected by bacterial leaf streak. The bacteria enters the plants uh, through natural openings and wounds that may be created by events like hail. Uh, high wind speeds, a uh, high speed wind, um, insect feeding, all these wounds that are created are entry points for the bacteria. The only way to control the bacterial leaf streak is using resistance. There are some cultivars that are tolerant to the bacterial infection, but also it can come through seed. So using certified seed uh, that is free from bacteria is going to help uh, to limit the problem of bacterial leaf streak. I also mentioned that fungicides can make bacterial streak worse because some of the surfactants that are added with the fungicide, they kind of open up the leaf pores and then provide an entry point for the bacteria. So before you apply that fungicide, you should ask yourself, do I have enough disease that is threatening the yield? And do I really need to apply now or can I wait a little bit? Okay. So applying one fine side treatment at flower, flowering stage can really take care of scab and other diseases on the flag leaf.